here in South Carolina. This is Unity Church Road. And this road was named after one of the oldest Baptist churches in South Carolina. Welcome to the upstate South Carolina. And we are here today standing in front of this signage, Unity Baptist Church, established 1867. South Carolina is one of the Bible states in America. And this is significant, friends, because as the world is progressing towards the far left ideology of liberalism, the conservative parts of America continues to hold to their Christian values and traditions. I believe we are seeing the rise of uh, Christian fundamentalism and Christian right. Why is this very significant, friends, in our study of prophecy? Because, in fact, it fits the facts of the prophecy. This church announced in their signboard, Sunday Worship. Sunday School and Worship and their doctrine of the Trinity or Triune God made it significant to what we are going to go through as we approach the end. Dear friend, the history of the Seventh-day Adventist, they came from Trinitarian and Sunday keeping churches until the Lord God Almighty, Jehovah, and His only begotten Son called few of them to study their Bible. And as they studied their Bible, friends, they were convicted that the churches that keep Sunday and worship the triune or Trinity God are not obeying the law of God. Later on, these people who were disappointed in 1844 and they believe in the uh, literal second coming of Jesus Christ on October 22, 1844 by this Baptist minister, William Miller. They were among those who were greatly disappointed, but they continued to study the Bible. And they later rejected, you know, two doctrines, Sunday rest and Trinity doctrine. And they also rejected the belief in the immortality of the soul and describe as what the Bible reveals that death is unconscious sleep waiting for the judgment. The Seventh-day Adventists were non-Trinitarians and they rejected doctrines that are not backed up or supported by, substantiated by the Word of God, thus saith the Lord. The uh, sad part of the history of the Seventh-day Adventist friends is in 1980, they returned to worship Trinity. They are still keeping the Sabbath, but they are taking it lightly. And the uh, floodgates of uh, false doctrines are coming into the church, like spiritual formation, like uh, the uh, acceptance of uh, practices of the uh, LGBTQ movement, and many other worldly conforming to the uh, mother of harlots and her daughter church's doctrines. And this is the reason why I'm telling you today that the Seventh-day Adventist Church did not continue in its history. The Seventh-day Adventists clearly had departed from the original Seventh-day Adventists. What do I mean? The present Seventh-day Adventist Church did not continue the work of calling out people to come out of error and to proclaim the only true God 
and his son, Jesus Christ.